Let's work together to inspire communities of song that sing together for the joy of doing it and to the glory of God. The organist as praise band. Church music these days is more diverse than ever before. And that means that all church musicians, organists, pianists, guitarists, percussionists, singers, we all have to develop new skill sets and new listening skills. But most importantly, we have to develop new mindsets about what our instruments can do and how we can contribute most effectively to the music of our congregations. We have to embrace the diversity of congregational song, the diversity of faith expressed in music, and we have to find the best ways to contribute to that expression of faith. The point is not to leave anything behind. It is not to forsake the traditions that we love, but it is to embrace others' traditions. So in this short video, I'll talk about using the organ as a praise band. Now, rest assured, I'm not talking about replacing bands in churches with organs. I'm talking about those situations in which I find myself, and I know that many organists find themselves, in which the piece that someone wants to do is more suited for a band than for our instrument. I would advocate that we not automatically say no to that expression of faith through music, but that we honestly give it a try. Another fact is that this situation has always been so in church music. Hardly anything that is printed in a hymnal is printed with an organist in mind. Most pages of most hymnals are printed with singers in mind. So when we play them, we are playing organ transcriptions of choral music. We're making adjustments to help our congregation as choir to sing in the best way they can with the leadership and the accompaniment of our instrument. So let's start with the sound that we're trying to emulate. Most praise bands have three major components, a melodic component, a rhythm section, and a bass line. Those three sections are emulated in organ music because we can divide ourselves as organists into three components, a right hand, a left hand, and our feet. So in the case of praise music, our right hand could play the melodic component, our left hand could play the rhythm section component, and our feet can handle the bass line component. Let's look at a praise song that's included in this hymnal, the hymnal of this community, St. John's Abbey. It's number 629, and it's called Sing a New Song, appropriate for our topic. Here is the hymn with the accompaniment printed in the hymnal. that this composer has already given us the clues for what to do. A detached left hand that simulates the rhythm that would have been driven forward by the percussion elements of the rhythm section. A detached foot that simulates the bass instrument and a more legato but still detached melodic section. The point is to try to get our instrument to behave as a more um, percussive band would behave. 
So now if we apply that to other pieces from what is called praise music, we might come up with something like this. Here's a very popular praise song called Sanctuary. functions. My feet are playing a detached bass line. My left hand is playing an improvised part based on chord structures. My right hand is playing the melody and sometimes a harmony part. Here's another well-known praise piece called I Will Call Upon the Lord. In this case, the organ can be helpful in leading the two parts that are traditionally part of this song. Basically, it's a canon for part of it, and then the voices come together to sing a rousing chorus. So if you use two different registrations for left hand and right hand that can differentiate between the two parts, use your feet to play the chord symbols, basically the root of each chord. to provide a transcription for our instrument so that we can contribute to the praise of God through this style of music. I encourage you to listen to the many recordings available of praise bands doing this music well and think about creative ways in which your instrument can contribute to that sound. In another video in this series, I'll talk about the organist as a praise band member contributing our sound to their ensemble. Have fun! <laughs>